What's up? Roger, real deep cool in the house. Let me check and make sure we on record mode. Cause you know, sometimes I can't tell because man, so many other things are going on right now that I can't even keep up with me sometimes. You see what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. Like everything is good. That is there. That is set up right. Should we get more cage? More double cage in the shot? And then should I move over? Should I go like this with the double cage now? Or should I go back to, to, the, to the box? I don't know. Let's go with double cage. We're gonna go to double cage shot tonight. Double cage, holla at your boy 100. Lock it, unlock it, then close the cage back up when we done. That's what we're gonna do. But right now, again, got Jimmy the lock a little bit. Jimmy it! Now open it, baby. Now the cage is open. How you doing? Roger, real deep cool. Early afternoon, join. Yo, what time is it, yo? What time is it, yo? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. This is how much my new schedule is throwing me off. This new schedule is like, just like it's crazy. I mean, I can handle it. It's not a problem about handling the schedule. It's just that how I have to readjust how I eat and when I eat, ba bada bing, ba da boom, ba bing bang, bing a bang, so I can make sure I'm at top peak performance at all times. If you know what I'm saying. All right, holla at your boy. Now look here. We're gonna talk about, you want me to get it? I don't, I'll get it, I'll get it. Let's talk about, uh, Let's talk. Did y'all see me go by? Right. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this peach right here. Fuguia. I'm gonna start calling it Fuguia because that's what it looks like to me. Fuguia La Cartiva. Alright. I didn't look up the correct pronunciation because I don't care. Let me tell you what this is. I've hit this up for about five mil today. Easy, because I really had to see what was doing. I think I even hit it up. I even hit it up uh, last night a little bit too before I went to bed. I think. Did I? No, no, I had Andre Nor. Anyway, all right. The notes are musk, vanilla, and black currant. All right. When you first spray this, you can smell. Absolutely, I have no idea. I can't say I know what black currants smell like. I don't smell the vanilla and I don't smell the musk. So I don't know what I'm smelling when I first spray this. Now, when it's done, when it's said and done, and it's settled, everything is settled down and you get to go, you have this light vanilla musk with this undertone of orange. For some reason, it's just, just this black currant is like orange to me. It smells like orange. Like now, it's starting to smell a little bit like, like orange. I don't, I don't know what black currant smells like, but this almost smells like orange vanilla. Now it does smell like um, orchardy vanilla, cause that has like an orange type citrus vanilla to it. All right. The other thing about this is very, very light skin scent, minimal projection. Minimal silage. Okay, I'll go with that. You know how I can really tell because I have to take an elevator up and down from my office every day. And if I get into the elevator and I can really, really smell it surrounding me in the elevator, even where while the air is blowing or whatever, then I know that I'm getting some projection, right? Now this is coming right out the spot most of the time. Now, if I get in the car and the air is blowing and I smell it, then I'm getting skin projection. I'm getting, I'm getting ventilated projection. You see what I'm saying? So there, I guess there's a projection like you just sitting still, like me sitting still right now. I can smell because I freshly sprayed it, so I can smell it. But if all of a sudden I get like a blast of air, like a fan or whatever, across my skin, I can smell it. So it's like an air projection smell. It's not like a projection coming off my skin type thing. Vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla, orangey, and musk is what's, musk? The musk is what's keeping this from smelling like fundus del, what is that called? Dulce del fundi? El fundi? Dulces is fundi? Whatever it is. By perfume, 
that's keep that's what's keeping this from smelling like that. Is the musk. If this didn't have the musk, it would smell like the the fundy or fundus or dulcis, but with minimal projection. The the the, 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 the fundus has a lot of projection. I mean, because it's, it's concentrated. You know, it's extract. So it has more projection than this. This is light projection, light sillage, skin scent. But if you're sitting in a ventilated place and you have it blown across your skin, you will smell it. If you're walking by somebody and just right there within that scent bubble of you walking by somebody, because I did turn a couple heads this morning, it does that pretty good. If it's still on your skin now, I sprayed this this morning. It was almost 4.30. I sprayed this. I was up at Adam about 9. Let's say 10. We're talking, it's still bumping. It is really still bumping, but... Now, of course, if a dude can wear fundus, if a dude can wear Zucchero, you can wear this, all right? Is not a female scent if you wear those other scents that are sweet as well, like me. You know what I mean? If you wear Love, if you wear um, Liaison Dangerous, or if you wear Forbidden Games, you got no problem wearing this because that's even more fruitier. This is not as fruity as the ones I named. And I get constant, I get, I get compliments from everybody on the Killian juice when I wear that. Everybody, because it smells so fresh. It's so fruity. You know, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more fruity than pulp. You know, pulp is is fruity too, but it's a, it's, it's laid back. It's kind of dark. Somebody say rotten fruit? No, it's just a darker fruit. The Aizan Danger Roots for Forbidden Games and Love. You know, Love's not really a fruit. It's more like a marshmallow type, vanilla type, cherry type thing going on with it. No, Angelique Noir is not fruit as well, but it's very sweet. But it does have a dark side about it. So, if you can wear those, but if you're not used to wearing those, if you're not a, a serious gourmand head, then don't even mess with it, leave it alone. You know, there's a lot of cake for this. You're talking about book 200, 198, whatever. A lot of cake for this, not to like it. Um, my responsibility to you guys uh, and ladies is to make sure that when I recommend something, I'm not giving you all the goody goody two shoes stuff. I can't get it to you. I can't give it to you. I can't give it to you saying, oh, I love it. I, love it. I can't give it to you like that. Because then you go and you spend the 240 blindly because people have done it. I've done it. I've done it off recommendations. And most of the recommendations have been pretty good. Some weren't quite up to expectations, but they still were good. If you are working on a limited budget and you don't have $240 or you don't have $150, you know, then, then you know you're gonna be concerned about this. Cause now, if you get it, you don't like it, you gotta try to get out of it. You know what I mean? I'm maybe we decan it. Whatever we gotta do to get out of it. But when I buy, I buy to make sure I like it. This is a total blind buy. There wasn't even any reviews on this. There wasn't nothing happening with this. Um, going on with this. Um, just I think a sniff. But nobody actually had the juice in their hand. So um, yeah, this is a total blind buy for me, and I am. Not even close to being disappointed. This has a raised letter. I ain't know it's like paper, but this F has a raised letter on it. That's crazy. It's like raised, you can feel it. Pretty nice, that looking just like a piece of paper. You know what I mean? Nice top, plastic top. I can squeeze it with my, with my muscles. So, you know, but it does have Fougiere on top. You know, spray is nice. Nice, decent spray you get from it. Can you see it? You get a nice puff. You get a nice puff of spray. And it's just kind of concentrated spray, so it's not puffing into a big mist. Like uh, like I think the one I had that was really crazy, misty, was Green Irish Tweed. When you spray that, man, it's like shh, like a fog. I don't want fog on me like that. I want a concentrated hit. You know what I mean? I'd rather pull it back and do it like that than to put it close and still have fog. You know what I'm saying? But it's nothing wrong with a spray like that if you like that. I, I don't particularly like it. I like more of a concentrated direct spray, right to the skin juice. Yeah, if it wasn't for the musk, this would be really bright. Thanks to the musk, a man can wear this without a problem. Nobody looked at me today like I was like, you know, fruity cocoa pebbles. So 
it's all good. And the bottle is kind of different. It gives, it's like square, but it gives you the idea. You know how most bottles, they always have that op, that thing going on on the bottom. It's like not really, it's not really round on the bottom. Look at that. It's like some kind of mold, you know, so, so it's cool, but you know, it's a nice bottle. It goes great in my collection with all my clear bottles. Uh, with Roja and, and uh, the Perfumums and let's see what else is down there. The Guerlain's of course. Honey Mori is a clear bottle. And of course, um, uh, Amber Sultan and, and Shergi by Sergi Chan, the clear bottle. So it fits right in that theme of my bottles. It really goes nice in there with all the clear bottles. So it's cool. So I dig it. I like it. Like I said, there's not a lot of projection, but if you're just intimate with somebody, if you're getting like intimate, that's good. If you are, like if I, if I had somebody with me in the same room, you would smell it in the same room with air circulation. You probably wouldn't smell it if somebody was sitting in this room, they probably wouldn't smell it until I got up, like if I made a move or I did something about putting a jump up in their face, then they could smell it. You know, other than that, you know, if I grab her and hold her tight like that, and grab her from behind like, ooh, kiss her on the neck like that, she'll smell it. You know what I mean? There's different situations as to how this will work. It'll be good to go. But you're not gonna walk around and people gonna be saying you smell like this and like that. It's not gonna work like that. Nah, da. It don't go down like that. Not with this, all right? So let's lock this one up, it's done. Nah, J. Trois. I get them in for the night. Gotta get back in and start working on the CD a little bit more. I started earlier today, I gotta go back in here and work some more. I had to get my hard drive up to spec, it was luncheon new hard drive. Alright, so we got that done. Is that done? Alright, for this next one, I'm going to need some paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these Hello Media cards. And I think I have about five samples that came in. So I'm going to do a first impression. Yeah, I mean, also samples that just came in. Okay. Hold on. I don't want these, these cards to have any kind of scent even from ink. No, I won't use these. I'm going to have to use something else. I was going to use these, uh, Hollow Media Group cards. See them right there, Hollow Media Group. See that? HollowMedia.com, the Hollow Media Group. Yeah. That's how you get it in. That's how you do what you got to do. Alright? And keep telling y'all what to do. Alright, hold on. Turn around and grab some paper and get the cut. I had some paper up here. Um, I still do. It's right here. So we're gonna cut this up into um, about six. I think I have six samples. I've got how many I ordered. And I'll tell you what they are once I bust them open. I'll let your boy. I get the pin ready. All right. That's two. I can never cut even. It's actually more than six, but the more the better. I'm gonna write them down the pin here, and I'm gonna use my iPad to search the information while we're doing this, okay? So this might be a little bit of a process, people, but you'll be all right. You ain't doing nothing else right now. Or you wouldn't be sitting here checking me out. You know what I mean, right? All right, for my friends overseas, and I had to, oh, they send, oh, they send some. Okay, okay, cool, they send some. For my friends overseas, it says uh, Nobel. I got this stuff fast. I didn't think I would get it this fast. I was concerned about customs coming through New York because the last issue I had with them was with uh, Uda, not Uda Leaf, was with uh, Valentino. And it took almost two months to get here. And after, I went and bought it before it got here. I went and bought it from Nordstrom. Actually, I ordered it from Nordstrom. I could have bought it from Nordstrom. It finally got here after two months. I said, I would never do that again with German uh, German sellers. I just didn't want to have to go through that again. So I figured I'd give these guys a try. I had a friend of mine, He's uh, he's been getting good juice from them also. And he's been getting his stuff pretty quick and he lives in Kentucky. But I know Kentucky doesn't use New York as a port of entry. So I wasn't going by when he was getting his, that's for sure. So um, I just went on ahead and I said, well, look, it's only $47. I take a chance on forty-seven dollars before I take a chance on the hundred and sixty dollars I was about to pay 
for three samples and some juice, okay? So here's the juice I got to make sure I, I holler my man. He's on vacation now. He went away. Anytime I mess with Zorn, he's, he's on vacation. But uh, one of his partners took care of me and made sure this got here. So it says a Nobel. Check him out. I really don't want y'all to check him out because I don't want you to have what I have. That's right. I said it. All right. So what do we have that we're going to check out? Well, the first thing we're going to check out is what I actually was going to buy, but I decided not to because I needed to have the bottle. And let's see if it came with, and for some reason, it is here, here it is. I was going to buy, not some model blamage, blamage, blimey blamey bloom blame, bigger the blame, but I was like, nah, yo. I was hearing mixed reviews. I was hearing that it wasn't nothing in particularly special. From I heard it was very nice. To hearing that um, it was a mix in between Doro and Pardon. Okay. I do have a muscle available. So if this smells good, I'll be ordering this tonight, maybe. We'll see. We're gonna go in the arm first. Nasomato blemish. Whoa. Okay, what I get from Blomage on the first spray is I get, I, I smell something I smelled before. That's why, I'm, that's why I was sitting here like trying to figure out what it was. It smells a little citrusy. There's not going to be any information on this besides what somebody else may have said about this. But I don't think there's no, there's no info on, um, one for Granica. Well, I don't know. I haven't looked in a while, so maybe somebody, if uh, since a couple people have it now, maybe someone said something about it. Let's see. I heard the bottle isn't what it looked like with that cover, but I think that. See, I think what I think that top, the raggedy looking top, was really made. You know how they do with cars before they show the car, they blanket it with something, so you, you know you'll see a little bit what's going on, but you won't see totally how the cars look. You don't see the lines. You know, a car shape is going to be evident, but you don't see the lines and the cuts. Like BMW have some of the most beautiful cuts that in, in, in the industry, you know what I mean? They cut their hoods nice, they cut their side nice, they don't cut a whole bunch of stupid down cuts like some car manufacturers doing down cuts. You know, the car is straight like this, but they got a cut going down the door. You know, it's about the beautiful cuts, and that's what BMW hide from people. They hide the cuts, the lines. And um, I personally think that that's what they were doing with this picture because no one said they got a top like this when they bought Blomage. Oh, Blomage, or Blamage. Um, they said the top, last guy said the top looked like it was leather, but it was like plastic and it was kind of mild shaped, but it, it didn't look nothing like the picture you see of Frank Gratic. That's what he said. I don't know. You had to ask them dudes. All right, so let's spray this on the paper now. It has this opening scent of something that I smelled before, but once this calms down, once this calms down, it's fairly unique. I, I don't know of anything to smell like this. It's like I can, you can like smell sweet in here, like on the paper, it smells different from my skin, totally different. But you can smell like a little, I'm ready to order this now. Oh, that's right, they, they probably closed now. You can smell, it's, like, it's almost like there's a sweet, there's a sweet citrus something going on with this.
I don't smell anything floral. Some wood, like, 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 like a, a sweet wood. Maybe that's where the, that, maybe that's where the combination of um, part and enduro come in. I like it on my arm more than I like it on paper. This will be a spray out tomorrow because I think I'm going to get it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like Blamage. And uh, it take a lot for me because, you know, I have some Nasa models. I have four already. So, you know, I'm not I'm just buying anything. I, I didn't really check out F Synth and I didn't check out the uh, China Musk or anything like that yet. But, um, you know, because it's so misleading with, um, not misleading, but because, you know, he doesn't tell you what the notes are specifically, and it's left up to those who really know about fragrances, what they pick out from it, or what the interpretation of it is. For me, I don't matter if I don't know the notes or not. It's like, okay, trying to explain it to you would be a responsibility, but to me, I would just smell it and tell them whether it's good or not for me. I don't, you know. Then maybe I'll look at the notes, but this is like a sweet citrus, not like a like an orange citrus, a just crazy. This is crazy. This 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 is crazy. Man. This is crazy. This Cha-ching! Is in. Ordering that tomorrow. Alright. But let, let me say, no, 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 no. Before I jump the gun too quick. Before I just say I'm going to order it tomorrow. Because I had three more samples. So it wasn't just blamage. I'm going to put it on this. Uh, put it on this. Uh, what do you call these again? Yeah. Whatever they call these. I'm going to put it on this too. Okay. So there's blamage. Blamage. I like it. I like it. When I first spray, the smells like something else bitter. There's like a bitter thing happening. But once it's starting to dry down, man, and I don't know what the total dry down is going to be, let me hit it again to try to get some kind of idea what a big spray would be from the bottle. Man, that first spray is really captivating in that, like I said, it smells like something else, but it smells really nice. I don't see how long it lasts. I like it. Okay, next, 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 man. Next we have Orto Parisi. And this one is called, let me look it up because I really can't see it because, you know, when people write down something on paper, it, I can't really see. Okay, this is Bacanera. I heard so much about Bacanera. I heard Bacanera with a Okay, it says fresh, spicy, cocoa, sweet, warm, spicy, fresh. Okay? Sounds like something I like. So let's go with the uh, Bocanera on both cards. You feel me? Bocanero. Bocanera. Ra. That was called. Drop on the flora. Duh. All right, let's go. Boganera. On the paper. Whoa. Whoa. I like this song right here, but if you listen to it, all you hear that. Watch this, watch this. I shouldn't have did that all the way through the song. I should have did like once every four bars. I do it like three bars and then I drop it out on the turns. I really would like to have this song. I wrote it for this uh, young lady named Jackie. And, um, but, uh, I don't know, it might go on. That is starting to tick me off now, okay. I'm not really feeling this Bocanero. Um, 
It almost has this earthy smell. Oh, I got some on my hand. Um, warm, spicy. I don't know. A lot of people like this. Um, it looks like cocoa, ambergris, pepper, and chili. And um, I'm not smelling the cocoa now. I'm not sure well, so I'm gonna spray on my arm besides the homage. It really gonna depend on how this smell. I don't like this. I don't really smell the cocoa. I smell the amber. I smell like this dirty amber though. Like an amber like, well maybe it's the pepper coming in with the amber. I'm not sure what happened with the chili, chili pepper. It's different, but it's nothing I would jump on. A lot of people was like really telling Bocanera. Nah, I'll pass on Bocanera right now. Now that something else changed. All right, next we have Orto Parisi Brutus. Brutus, okay. Let's write that down. Brutus. Cause you always knew this. I rhyme like that. I'll be hating, man, because I'll be rhyming, man. Y'all cats, man. I'm trying to get on my nerves, man. I mean, I get these, get these little side, little, little comments y'all leaving. You know, like, yeah, Rod, you da 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 Brutus has this black Afghano thing going with it. But it's sweet. Like a Leilati. Let's look it up. Brutus. Gotta look it up. I like Brutus definitely better than Bocanera. No wonder. That's what it is, patchouli. Yeah. Sisters patchouli, warm, spicy, sweet, earthy. A lot of people like it. They voted on it. Um, for me, I would probably buy it because it's a concentrate. And I would like to put another, um, I would like to put another, um, Patchouli on my, on my list. I would like to do that. I think this is like $200 for 50 mil now. I think he went up to 50 mils on these instead of the 30. This blomage is really starting to change into something crazy. This blomage is starting to change into something crazy. Alright, Brutus will be a pass. You know what Brutus kind of remind me of? I'm not going to skin spray that yet either because I need to see. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of the patchouli from, um, Paris, uh, De Carlo. Um, uh, the patchouli they have out. Because it's sweet. And that, that's, that, that patchouli, man, it's the sweetest patchouli I ever smelled. I mean, now, Boys 1920 has a sweet patchouli too. It's, it's a nice, common sweet patchouli, but that one that Paris Monte Carlo came out with, that patchouli is beautiful, man. This is boarding on the same vibe. So, not sure about that one. And last but not least, once again, I'd like to say Sean from Ascensor Nobel. I'd like to thank, um, Oh my gosh, what's her name? Well, I gotta find her name because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss her because she really made sure that he made it to me though he was gone. So give me time to look this up because it's important that I look this up. In fact, just let me type in Zorn's Zorn name. Okay, because it's in, it's in the message. Oh man, I can't find it, yo. Alright, I want to think, okay, Annette, who's Annette, okay, hold on, 
Okay. Because he didn't say it at first. He said someone else. Sasha. He said Sasha was going to take care of everything for me. But actually, uh, well, I got to claim my, re my refund they sent me too. Because they were supposed to send me two more, but they're not in. So as soon as them two come in, they're going to let me know. Two more autos. Um, yes, Annette and uh, Sasha, thank you so very much. Uh, in the absence of Sean, who can't stay away from a vacation. Nah, man, do your thing. All right? This is going to be... This is going to be Sturgis. Or Stur... Stur... Sturgis? Stur... 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 Let's see. Sturgis. Okay, you want to go with Sturgis? Sturgis. Okay, and uh, we don't have any notes on this, of course, because... You're not telling anybody what they are. Do we have any reviews on it? Oh yeah, we do have some reviews. Why in the hell a perfumist calls his creation such a discussion humiliating name? If you're trying to prove that with sufficient advertising and promises of originality, people will be proud and confident to smell like animal excrement. The perfume is probably good, but the perfumist has mysterious intentions. I want to try it. This guy is talking crap. And he ain't even tried. I'm thinking he's ready to say something. Let's see who else. All right, all right. Renee's got it down. Renee wrote down here. Wrote down here. One of my newest acquisitions is a real monster. I was just blown away by this creature. This mind blowing, spectacular, searches, sweet, seductive, animalic, wood, fruity, creamy, dreamy, unique, ultra powerful. Not for the faint of heart. Um, a fragrance can stand next to the shelves of Alcott. Oh, so that's what Renee said. Okay, so let's uh go ahead and check out Sturgis. And I, what's wrong with this name? Is, is it is it the, the actual name of something stupid? He said, ah, oh, why can't he name it something like this? I mean, what's wrong with the name? I don't, I don't even know what the name means. So I don't know what that dude talking about on Fran Granite. Man, there's always somebody, man, who just just want to say something stupid sometimes. Let me have no basis for saying. Hey, I haven't even smelled it yet. Maybe it smells like Sturgis. That's why he named it Sturkis. Before you go running your chops. So I'm like, yeah, why, why would he name it something like that? Such a crazy name. And I, you know what? People need to shut up sometime. All right, this is what I'm going to put this on, even though I don't think it's really crazy enough for me to really consider it. I think it's okay um, from the first spray. Nothing impressed me as much as, um, as Blomish did. Um, but Blondage is starting to turn into something totally different where I initially sprayed it. Yeah, this is, um, I don't know what Renee talking about as far as, I mean, monster is a good word. Maybe my man got a point. Maybe Sturgis mean an animal ex excrement? Maybe the dude was talking about running his chops. This definitely smells like black Afghano with. I don't smell the sweet. I'm just going to go by what Renee wrote down. And maybe because I don't smell sweet. I don't smell sweet. I just don't. Animalic, yes. I don't smell fruity. I don't smell cream. Maybe later on it's gonna do that, so I don't know. I only sprayed on me because of his, because of his, uh, because of his uh, description. I don't know, man. I don't know, I should've sprayed, uh, I should've sprayed Brutus. Sturkis is not, um, not hitting it for me. I can say if she said it right now out of all the uh, Orto Parisis. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Nasamato, but uh, no, nah, cuz I'm good. But Blomage? I'm on a fist with Blomage because it's starting to change. When I first sprayed Blomage, it smelled so sweet. and But now that it's drying down, it's starting to get like tart citrusy tart, almost like Vivace does on my skin. 
like a bitter some citrus. It doesn't smell that sweet anymore. When I initially sprayed this, man, it just I'm going under there. I gotta go under. I, that's, I, I gotta hit this another spot. I gotta hit another spot. When you first spray this on, it smells as sweet and that stings the nostrils. Stings the nostrils. Like a six panther. But then it starts to change into something a little bit more bitter. It's not as interesting to me as it was initially. I'm gonna hold my now, now it comes off the desk. It comes off the desk. It goes over here on, on the stool. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to hold my reservations about Blomish now. Um, I'm not sure what it's trying to do. Um, I'm gonna give Sturcius, Sturcius, a chance too, because if Renee is smelling, if he's smelling sweet, seductive, animalic, woodsy, fruity, creamy, dreamy, unique, I guess it says luxurious and ultra powerful, I'm going to have to wait for that. Because right now it don't smell like that. And I'm going to put a little bit more on my arm again just to give it that juice because I want to, I want to like one of these. I mean, I like Mr. Nasamano, but. I'm not buying something because of the name. Only thing I buy because of the name is a Bentley, a BMW, and uh, maybe that uh, that Rolls, because Beamer makes Rolls. After I win this Grammy. I don't even think I want to win a Grammy, though. I don't know. If they say I won, I'm, I might not even go. I might just go to work and do some overtime. You know what I mean? So it's not about the awards, my friend. It's about the people who really pay attention to you, who really care about you. That's what it cares, that's what it is to me. You know what I mean? Yes, winning a war can catapult your career, but um, I'm not seeing really good things about a lot of people who won awards last year who I really didn't think deserved awards. I mean, they were okay, but people who won in my category, man, I ain't heard from none of them. I ain't heard nothing. So, I'm trying to figure out how you win a, a Grammy Award and, you know, you ain't even getting it in. I mean, I would hear about you somewhere. Hear about you nowhere. You know what I mean? That's what I'm starting to think, man. You know, really dealing with these award things and everything that, man, the popularity contest, man. I mean, aside from the, what the Grammy reps told me last year when we went to the Grammy meeting for the Grammy Awards, they were saying, well, you know, no, you don't have to have we have a million dollar record seller, you don't have to have this, but it is a popularity. It is. It is. I mean, in my category, there's not a lot of popularity because it doesn't make a lot of money, but some of the other people, like the rap group, you know, the dudes, the Caucasian dudes, the European dudes, I forgot their name. Um, you know what I mean? I ain't heard nothing from them since they won their award. You know, I think somebody just tried to put them out there real quick. But I mean, they wasn't no different. They wasn't setting a trend. They wasn't doing nothing new. You know what I mean? And that's what winning these awards is really about. Doing something new, doing something different. Coming from a different approach. Which is why I should win. Because I don't sound like everybody. I don't try to sound like everybody. I play all my instruments. You know what I mean? You would think my black behind would get recognized. I had to say black behind because uh, I'm black. But it didn't. I mean, people recognize me as far as they hear my music and they liked it, but I didn't get the recognition that you know I thought I would get. I'm not getting recognition in Philly that I think I should get as well, but you know it's all good cause because again I have a nine to five. I'm still getting paid. That's right. Still gonna have a pension. Still gonna have medical benefits. Uh any Grammy people gonna have pension and medical benefits? Oh. Alright anyway, I'm done with that. I don't want to even get to no music tangent. You know what I mean? I don't even want to go there. Is what that is, but to these fragrances, blomage, I just don't know. It's starting to transition again, so we'll see. I put Brutus on, I mean, not Brutus, I put Sturtius on this arm. Right now, I don't know what it's doing. Brutus, uh, put sweet patchouli, and Bacanero dirt. Smell like dirt or something. 
It's supposed to be cocoa or whatever. I don't know whether the cocoa is making it smell like dirt or the chili pepper. I don't know what it is. I wouldn't wear it. All right. I'm out y'all. Roger Real Deep Cool. I'm gonna lock this one up too and be done with it. I'm gonna have another sip for you cats. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, la fuet. You know what it is. Get some of that nighttime, right time. Don't worry about daytime with silly. Wear the night. A date would be nice. Third date would be nice. It's kind of sweet for a first date. Might scare somebody away. Wear the big boy for the first date. Wear the leather. Wear, well, I can't tell you what to wear, but wear that for the first date. And then you you start coming to sweet, because that way, you know, a female know, like, oh yeah, but you know, that first one he wore, like Mona Cure, Mona Your Cure, oh, that was no way near sweet. But then he come back on the third date, now he banging out sweet. She know it ain't like that with you. She know you just got a nose for fine smell goods. That's what you should have on, baby. All right, and again, Grammys, dog. I played all the instruments. I produced my own CD. I recorded my own CD. I engineered my own CD with my own studio, with my own company. I did everything myself. Everything. All the instruments, everything. Grammy. Grammy people, you hear me? I don't think you heard me. Who did that last year? Who won in my category? Who played all the instruments? Who did all the, the, the production and arranging? All the, who did that? 